We're at the LGBT Leaders event in London, where we spoke with visitors on the upcoming general election. We started by asking them what they want to see come from the general election on May 7th. I think in this election the health service is going to be a really big issue. And I think in terms of LGBT equality, the big change is there's a lot more cross-party support for that, and I hope we can maintain that. I'd like to see more of an emphasis on um, education for LGBT people, um, particularly sex education laws. I think they're really outdated, um, and I think there definitely needs to be um, a modernisation of that in some way. I think from the general election it's really important that we see some conviction from all the different parties around what they want to do for LGBT issues. I think that it's great that we've got gay marriage now and we've seen a massive shift there, but we need more things like uh, Tristan Hunt who's been looking at um, reforming schools and education. I think we need to see more policies that are going to support a change in culture um, and not just a change in legislation. One of the key issues is to create a new culture of acceptance and understanding for LGBTI people. And one way to do that is through the education system. So two of my priorities would be compulsory sex and relationship education, inclusive of LGBTI issues in every school. And the other one would be equality and diversity lessons to challenge all forms of prejudice. It's clear to see there are a lot of divided opinions about what the priorities of the next government should be. Now that we've got equal marriage, what next? Well, I'm Northern Irish, so where I am, it's not legal. Um, so if the, uh, if the people who win the general election, whoever comes to power, would like to kind of shift their focus onto Northern Ireland and maybe give us a little bit more attention, that'd be brilliant. Um, and kind of help make sure that everybody's on the level playing field, everybody gets equal opportunities. I think it's um, what we need to work on is, yeah, the social side. So equipping people who see examples of homophobic bullying or um, sort of offensive language being used, feeling confident in challenging that mm -hmm. and trying to change social attitudes that way. I'm not entirely sure. I think, um, I think equal marriage can be something of a red herring at times. You know, I think gay marriage is incredibly important, but equally I think it's far more important to say that people feel safe walking home from a gay club than it is that they can have a legal union. I don't think equal marriage has done anything. I don't think that enough people talk about the spousal veto, which massively, massively, massively like screws over trans people. Join the conversation on Twitter with hashtag SSG election. This is Mark Harrett for So So Gay at Canary Wharf.